Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with one of my own puzzles. This is Search for the Killer 9 um, by me. Um, a couple of days ago, I went on a bit of a setting spree. I hadn't been setting many puzzles, and I created, I think it was four puzzles, um, all with something that so when I try make puzzles, most of the time I try and create things that are a bit interesting, but not too hard. Um, I sort of aim for 20 or 30 minute solves. Um, and when I'm doing that, because, um, because I'm aiming for those sort of solve times, I normally try and set puzzles that I can set in about an hour, including the testing. Um, and I set a few of them off to testers, and a couple of them were like, yeah, no. Uh, and a couple of them were like, yeah, this is a good puzzle. So I recorded one of them, and that's in the Bremster Unpublished Puzzle Playlist, which you can find on the channel, and that's called Renfall. Um, and that's been there for a couple of days now. Um, and then I record, um, I also had this one, which is Search for the Killer 9. Um, and this is a Killer um, Search 9 puzzle. So Killer, I'm assuming most of you will be familiar with, but Search 9, maybe not. But this is a good time for me to call out that uh, a couple of things. First of all, um, you're about to go into a period where I think you're going to see a bunch of puzzles from a series that has been sent to me. My goal is to record those over the next few days and then release them in in a swathe. Now I've been sent I think nearly a dozen of these. I'm not going to do a dozen in a hit um, but I'm definitely going to do three or four and then maybe even five and then go back to some normal um, programming. These have all been sent to me anonymously or at least under pseudonyms. Um, they've all got to theme um, and more information will come out as I record. Um, if you don't like the theme, and that is very possible, just ignore them and do the puzzles. The theme is irrelevant to the puzzles themselves. They are all Sudoku. Um, apparently, they're very, very good. They're not too challenging, which is, um, they've been set this way specifically because I've got incredibly limited recording time at the moment. So um, they've been set to be slightly harder than gas, so sort of level two, maybe three difficulty. Um, and yeah, should be things that I could just roll through and record a bunch um, and sort of just be some interesting distractions for people so uh yeah that should be good um check out the bremster unpublished puzzle videos let's have a look at this shall we search for the killer nine now it's been a couple of days since i set this there's a couple of paths through which is often the case so i'm not sure which way i'll go through this one um when i tested it um the testers told me a very different way than what i what I intended. So yeah, I don't know what I'll find. So normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have killer cages, and in the cages, the digits that are placed in the cage will sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. We also have these arrows, and what these arrows are going to do is they will point to the nines in the grid, um, and the digit that is placed in the um, on the arrow will tell you how far away the nine is going to be. So for example, if this was a three, that would mean one, two, three, this would be a nine. Um, and that's the way this rule works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So there's a couple of place, different places you can start here. Um, this five cage is an interesting one. This is either a one, four or a two, three. Now, this must either be a one or a two because there's only two places you can put the nine here. So this can't be a three or a four. The arrow is too close to the edge because we can't put the nine off the grid. So if this is a one, this is a four. And if this is a two, this is a three. So this is a three or a four, which means the nine is in one of those two cells. Um, now, if this is a two, this becomes... Uh, uh, sorry, if this is a 2, this becomes a 9. But if this is a 2, this becomes a 3. But if this is a 9, this is also a 3. So this can't be a 2, because it would go 2, 9, 3, 3. And that's broken. And I really like that as an opening deduction. So this becomes a 1, this becomes a 4, this becomes a 9, because the 9 has to be 1 away from the arrow. This 4 means 1, 2, 3, 4, this becomes a 9. This tells you how far away this is. This is one, two, three, four away from this arrow. This becomes a four, this becomes a one, and this becomes a nine. Now you could also have started down here by knowing this had to be a one, four cage, because if this was a two, three cage, then the nines would have been in those cells, um, and that would have been broken because you would have had to have put two nines in this box. Okay, so we know the nine 
is somewhere in here now because this is either one, two, three, or four, and it can't be one or four. So this is two or three, which puts the nine somewhere in here. And it can't be here. So this is the nine, this is a two, which means this is a one, this is a nine, this, uh, and I've broken the puzzle. That's not a one. That was a two I put in there. So this is not, I was, why would I thinking that was pointing at a two? That was just absolute, that was dumb. Yeah, that was dumb. In fact, this is actually more limited because huh, it has been a very rough few weeks. And this is why I'm trying to take time to relax when I can in taking easy puzzles. And even I can make mistakes. So yes, sorry, everyone. So what I know is this, is pointing to a nine up here, but it can't be here or here because there's already nine. So this is either a one or a four. So this is either a one or a four. This is also having to point to a nine, but we know the nine is in one of those two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a four or a seven, which means this is a three or a six. Um, and there must be a four in one of those. If that is a one, that is a four. If that is a four, that is a seven. So there's a four in one of those, which is an interesting little thing. Um, now this has to point to a nine and the nine can't be here. So, and the nine can't be over here. So the nine is in one of those two. There is a nine in this 18 cage. So this can only be a two or a four. Now there must be a nine in this 18 cage. That's interesting, I think, with a one or a four. So it's either one, eight, nine, or four, five, nine. Interesting. I don't remember the exact path of this, I'm sorry. So that does mean nine is in, oh, nine is placed. Because nine can't be here because this is a two or a four, therefore it has to point over here. So nine is now placed because it can't be here or here. This is a nine, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven, this is a three. Which means I can't put a three in this cage, but I don't think I could have anyway. This is either one, this yeah, one, eight, or four, five, seven. So this being two or four means this is six or eight. This has to point to a nine, which is either here or here. So one, two, three, four, four. This is this is three or six, giving me a three, six pair. If this is three, three and nine would be 12. This would be eight. If this is six, nine, this would be 15. This would be five. Um, this is pointing to a nine. Uh, oh, hang on. I know what that is. One, two, three, four, five. That has been a five for a very long time. Five and nine is 14. So this is a two. There is a nine up here somewhere. So this is one, two, or three, and it can't be one. So this is two or three. So this is not the nine. Nine is one of those two. So this 12 cage maybe? Can't be three nine and it can't be four eight. This is five seven. Uh, is this 10 cage limited? It can't be one nine. <laughs> this is. This was never not a particularly hard puzzle, but I'm obviously missing something, um, which I always do. I'm failing at a lot of stuff. Five is down here somewhere. This is two. Four, five, nine, one, eight, nine. Nine is in one of those two and it can't be in an eight cage. So this is a nine, which means this is a six, this is a three, this is a seven, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is a nine. That nine makes that two. It makes this four and we now know this is four, 
five nine. This four means. Wait a minute. Was this two? Oh yes. So this is still two or four. But this is five nine now. Oh, this is two. So this is nine, and this is five. Nine is now right here. And I think I've placed all the nines. I've placed all the nines. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven and three. This two makes this eight. Um, this is now five, I hope. Five, six, and nine is 20. The five looks up making this seven and five. I knew there was something. And I've now done all of the arrows. This is an eight cage. It's not one seven. So this is either two, six, or three, five. And it's not three, five, because this five sees those, that five sees those. So five is down here somewhere. So this is not three, five. So this is six and two. And now I'm down to Sudoku. Okay, so that's the uh, the the clues done. So what are these? I need to put three here because three can't be in those. So one, two, three, four, five. These are six and eight. And I know the order because of that. This is eight. This is six. Uh, this is now a triple. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, and four. There's no two in here. So this is the two. This one looks up making this four and one. This column has only got three digits. One, two, three, four, six. Um, there's no three or six here. This is the four, so I can take four out of those. The six looks over making this three and this six. Um, trying to see where I am most restricted. Um, I'm not sure. In here, maybe five. Five in this box goes right here because this five sees those and that five sees that one. So these are one, two, three, seven, and eight. There's no seven there. There's no three there. That wasn't particularly restricted. This row, three, six, seven, and eight. There's no three there. There's no three there. This is the three. So this is the eight and this is the seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight go in here. So this is the seven. This is a six, eight pair. This is a triple now, which is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and eight. There's no two and eight there. This is the one. This is a two, eight. This eight makes this two and this eight. This is now down to a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The four here makes this five and this four. This is now a one. Uh, this is a pair. One, two, three, four. The four here makes this one and four. This is one, two, three, four, five, and seven. Three, five here makes this seven. This becomes a three, five pair. Uh, this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. This eight makes this six and this eight. Um, and it's really, oh, this column has been mostly resolved. I need to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. This is now a triple. One, two, three, six, and seven. There's no seven at the top. So this is the seven. Uh, this six looks up making this three and this six. Um, this needs to be one and two, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, one and two, which is not resolved that I'm seeing, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This four makes this five and this four. What about this one, two, three, one and four, which is resolved by that four or that one. So this becomes the one, this becomes the four. This is five, six, and eight. There's a five here. There's a five here. So this is the five. This gives me a six, eight pair in this column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, yep, these are two and three. Okay, that's unhelpful. What about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. These are one, six, and eight. There's no six here. There's no eight here. Okay, I don't remember it being this tricky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in here. So this is seven. This is six and eight. There's something I've... What? What? Have I missed something completely? 
Or have I made a mistake? It'd be funny, wouldn't it? It would be funny if I'd made a mistake. This got tested. That five makes this three and that five. The three makes that two and that three. The two makes this one and this two. The one makes this six, this eight, this one. The eight looks down making this six and this eight. The eight looks up making this six and this eight. And that is the solution to search for the killer nine. Not designed to be a hard puzzle. I just missed the, the five. Um, yeah, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to play... I. I seen a lot of search nine puzzles which were basically classics with the search nine i just wanted to play with something a bit different and uh, see how it interacted with the killer cages and i thought this one turned into a bit of fun and you know sharing bits of fun is what my channel is all about hope you enjoyed the puzzle um hope you enjoyed the mix up um, of the constraints and uh yeah as always good luck with your solving